But thankfully, that is not the case. Unfortunately, though, I think Marsh is going to get quite a bit damaged here. And maybe not too much. Didn't really see how many units were in range. Okay, let me go ahead and attack you again. Oh, I, I meant to turn off the animations. Don't worry, I'll do that. I was wondering why this was taking forever. <laughs> oh, I'm such a dork. I forget such simple things that I've mentioned several times. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and... go draw you two again. And what's the map look like? Okay, we got some enemies over there, so... I'm actually going to send these two this way. Because I have a feeling that unit I was talking about will be appearing any second now. And meanwhile, I'm going to use Mia Lucci to attack this guy over here. All the units are going to start moving forward. That's perfectly natural. They're expected to. And I didn't turn off the animations again. I... I really suck at that. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. Okay, maybe not an idiot. But still, though, it's something I wish I wouldn't forget so easily. Neolucci should be fine by himself. But keep in mind, once his uh, beast me meter depletes, he's going to be a lot weaker, so make sure he's not, like, in the middle of combat when that happens. So I'm actually going to put him back over here. Now we need to be careful a little bit. Because these guys are trying to close in on me, which I do not like. I'm not your buddies, guy. Wait, no, I said that backwards. I'm not your buddy, guys. Okay, yeah. From the way I said that, I was implying that I was more than one person. To just one guy. <laughs> Again, I'm such a dork. I have no idea why. I guess it runs in my veins. We should be getting that next unit soon, because... I don't remember them being able to get this far forward. I probably had no reason to do that. Um, wait, let me... Ooh. Again, they're not going to attack Leanne or anything. They're not going to attack her at all. It's just... Wait, let me... Can I zoom out? There we go. Okay, that should be fine. Oh, wow. They're getting very close. A little too close for comfort, wouldn't you say? And I didn't turn off the animations again. Wow. This is almost worse than when I forgot to turn off the Black Knight animations. Okay, well this isn't good. I mean, if worse comes to worse, I can just protect Leanne. Here we go, okay. It's frickin' Captain Har. The most badass unit in the entire game.
Okay, so first of all, we need to get healing. That is what needs to happen. Then I'll put you right here. Now I need to actually... There's a lot of freaking units this way. I don't know if I should let Neolushi attack, though. I should probably just put him over here and... Guard Leanne, like so. Okay, well, okay. First... I think you have to talk to her with... Yeah, with Marsha, okay. So yeah, talk, talk to Har with Marsha. Oh, crackers. She still says that. And it's still racist. So yeah, Har is uh, Jill's friend, if you couldn't figure that out. Okay, there we go. We have Har. Thank God. This is going to be so much easier now. You guys don't even know how much easier this is going to be. Because, as I think I've mentioned, Har is a freaking badass. I want to make sure I can actually get over here, though. Now, ah, whatever, I can, I can fix this. I, I should be able to do something here. But anyway, I should probably talk about Har. Har is a Draco master right now. Which is the same class Jill is at. And he's also, I believe, at a very high level right now. Um, oh wow, perfect. Just what I wanted. But yeah, um, he's at level 11 right now, which is very, very high. And basically, Har's a badass. He's a candidate, if not the best unit in the game. He really is. Um... Just a very powerful unit. You get him for a very large part of the game. He has very few weaknesses. He still has the weakness to uh, Thunder Magic, but even that's, like, not that terrible. And yeah, Har is just really, really, really good. And I'm not exaggerating when I say that. He really is just amazing. And he's also very, very powerful, too. And he makes this chapter a lot easier. Not that it was really that hard, it's just there's a lot of coming at you at once. Uh, he also has the skill Cancel, which is what uh, Leonardo has. Which, I mean, it can be helpful, but I wouldn't say it's like the most helpful skill or anything. Okay, so now, let me do this. Let me not forget this time. I'm gonna leave Harz on for a little longer. But I finally remember to turn it off. Okay, I had a feeling that they were gonna do that. Oh, thank. Thank you for missing. Thank you. Okay. This should definitely go a lot smoother now. So I'm going to go ahead and take you out with Marsha. 
Even though Marsh is gonna get damaged. Um, yeah, I'll do this. This makes more sense. And yeah, Zephyrin, the boss, actually knows Har. Yeah, even though this guy can actually do more damage to Har, Har definitely has the advantage, and he should definitely win this battle in that case. So let us heal, or revitalize Galdra, or whatever you want to call it. And let's finish up this chapter, which should actually be over um, after this turn. I mean, we still have to wait the extra two turns we have left, but it's, it's pretty much over. And this will actually give uh, Har a pretty good long-ranged weapon, the Short Axe. The Short Axe is kind of like a Hand Axe, but it's more powerful. And I think it also has... Um, it's, it's heavier, which means that it's not going to hit as much as other weapons. And this should do it. And there we go. And there we go. That was actually the prologue. We have quite a bit of dialogue here, though. So Leanne needs to see General Ike. And apparently he's uh, reorganized the Grail Mercenaries, and I guess he's leading that troop again. Okay, so there we go. We just get a clear bonus for that one. And we can save our game. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Later, folks.